He inserts that hemipene, you can kind of see it right there. And now the fun part, let's go get some eggs. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. You may have noticed that I missed a vlog yesterday. Well, I'm gonna explain about that in a little bit, but first I'm gonna check on Lori and Noah and see what they've got going on. I'm just putting pictures of geckos on the site. I'm helping. You're helping just stand there and <laughs> is it moral support? Moral support. <laughs> What's your plans for today? Conquer the world. But you, like an idiot, wanted to take over the world. How are you gonna go about that? Um, I'm reading some history books. So, <laughs> I'll be getting better. Uh, I don't know how to read. You don't know how to yeah, read? That's it. He gets, he's done with school, graduated, and then he starts reading history books. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, Noah is done. Some A bunch of people have asked how old Noah is. He just graduated, and he's about to turn 18. So, uh, there you go. So, congratulations down in the comments. Tell Noah. As a matter of fact, a great gift for Noah would be to subscribe to his channel. If he ever makes videos again. A third video coming soon. <laughs> Are you gonna film this week? Yeah, I was just sick. All right, so that is the family update, guys. So uh, we have a lot of work to do today, and let's get started. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you're ever wondering how snakes breed, take a look at this. See, that's his tail right there and her tail right here. You can see how they're hooked up just like that, and actually he inserts that hemipene, you can kind of see it right there. He inserts his hemipene right into the female's cloaca. And that is a breeding right there. Okay, I better give these guys a little privacy. Okay, before I get started on, I'm gonna spot clean a few colubrids. I've got some eggs for the first time, colubrid eggs, people. So you guys are gonna get a chance to be there when I pull the first colubrid eggs of the season. It's gonna be so exciting. I also have four ball python clutches today that we're gonna to pull, which is gonna be great. But before I get started on that, I do wanna explain why there was no vlog yesterday. As you guys know, the vlog life is pretty grueling, right? I've been doing it now for about six months nonstop with only one day off when I was really, really sick. And I love it. You know, I love the vlog. I love interacting with you guys. I love everything about it, but I will say it's a little exhausting at times and it is a little demanding at times and I'm not complaining whatsoever, but yesterday it caught up to me. I came to work. I was going to start vlogging. I kind of got my stuff done. I felt completely terrible and just completely out of energy, which is very unusual for me and believe it or not, I went home and I slept. I slept almost the whole day and all through the night and I really needed it. After the jet lag of Indonesia and all the crazy schedule over the last six months or so, I needed one day to just take a break, to decompress, not turn on the camera, not worry about editing, not worry about anything, and it was great. So regardless, I did put out a snake bites episode yesterday and I'll give you a real quick glimpse of that right now. Making ball pythons not only a great pet snake, but also one of the most colorful snakes in the pet trade. Big, but not too big. Easily handled snake. Easy care and setup. Lots of paint jobs. Don't move a lot, some think boring. Picky feeders. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to update you. Remember on the Texas rat snake that was just really curious and super friendly? Just kind of crawled up my hand the other day on the vlog. Uh, I asked you guys for names and you guys killed it with names. I mean, there was just so many great ones, but I had to go with Texas Ranger. Obviously, he's a Texas rat snake ranger. It just makes sense. So, uh, so there you have it. This is my guy here, Texas Ranger. Thank you guys for all your amazing ideas and for the people that said Texas Ranger. You help me name my snake.
So we have our first couple colubrid clutches of the year, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up some egg boxes really quick, and then I'm gonna pull the first two clutches. They're both Mexican black kings, but this is the start of a lot of eggs coming. So uh, first things up, I use vermiculite when it comes to colubrid eggs. I usually use hatchrite for leopard geckos and ball pythons, but just from a cost effective standpoint, vermiculite works really well on colubrid eggs, and uh, that's the way I've always done it. So I'll walk you guys through my process of setting up egg boxes. First things first, you need vermiculite, which is just basically a type of potting soil. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just actually mix in some warm water, so some lukewarm water with the vermiculite. You basically want a one-to-one -one ratio weight to volume. So anyways, uh, I usually do it just by feel because that's the way I've always done it. So some vermiculite and water. So now you just want to do like lukewarm water. You want it about 80 or 82 degrees. And to give you an example, I mean, air temperature in here is about 82 degrees. So I want it to feel about what the temperature is in here. The thing that's nice about colubrids, if you're up a degree or two or down a degree or two, it's not gonna hurt them. They can really fluctuate much more than pythons. So what the deal is, is you really want to have the consistency of this, like where you can squeeze it and it kind of balls up like this, but when you squeeze it, there's really no water that comes out. That means that it's kind of completely, you know, full of water, but not so much that you can squeeze water out of it. So you want it damp, but not wet. And then basically you just want about an inch or an inch and a half of vermiculite in the bottom of this. So I just take and I just put it in here, pretty much just level that out like that and that's a perfect egg box. Make sure that the egg box doesn't have any air holes in it so that you keep the humidity in, a relatively good seal on top, and you're gonna to wanna to exchange that air every couple of days, but uh, that's basically an egg box. And now the fun part, let's go get some eggs. Oops. <laughs> I'm a mess. I swear to gosh, I destroy everything. Okay, you ready for this? All right, Mexican Black King, here we go. Hello. Oh, look at those beautiful eggs. Wow, look at that, huh? Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Looks like she's got two, four, six eggs. All right, let's get them out of here and put them in the incubator box. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Not even one bad egg. That is gorgeous. Just got one dude over there. There you go, sweetheart. All right, and then what I'll do next is just kind of take her out and make sure that she doesn't have any retained eggs. So I just look at her really quick, kind of give her a quick look over. She looks fantastic. Looks like she did a great job. And then we'll just pull this nest box, get her some fresh water, and uh, probably tomorrow we'll feed her because king snakes typically eat right after they lay eggs, uh, which is good. Corn snakes typically take about a week to eat. So she should be good to go, and we'll start breeding her probably in the next seven to 10 days for a second clock. And of course, we'll check this next female. See what she's got going on in here. Oh, look at you, sweetie. Looks like a good clutch of eggs, too. Look at that. Oh, looks so good. There it is. Oh, perfect. Two, four, six eggs. So again, not bad. Seven eggs from the first girl, six eggs from the second girl. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope, looks like that was it. Okay, we'll pull her out, get her set up ready to feed and we have a I think we have four ball python clutches to pull so it's been a good egg production day all right let's pull some ball python clutches this is actually an ivory ball python right here and it's bred to a pastel super stripe and uh, what the heck she's got an egg out here and she's all what that's a weird clutch right there she's all wrapped around it really weird you can see there's actually three good eggs and one really kind of bad egg. That is what they would call a slug egg right here. It's got a little little bit of calcium on the top, but uh, three good eggs, but I do have to candle these guys because it just looks like they're rolled all over the place. So let's go ahead and get these pulled and we'll get them uh, into a dark room and, and see what, uh, what embryo is up or down because I have a feeling she's got them rolled all over the place. So unfortunately we did get a bad egg and you guys know that we've had a really good run on good eggs lately. So, uh, but that's just gonna happen. That's bound to happen in the course of a season. So anyways, let's get these candled and uh, we'll move on to the next. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's a nice clutch right there. This girl's on. Oh, here we go, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. That's a nice clutch right there. Whoop! Oh, Stay close to bite me. Ah! <laughs> Don't bite me, girl. <laughs> That girl was upset I took her eggs. Now you can see this egg, how it's a little bit dimpled right here. That just means that it's, it's drying out a little bit. I'll get it in this incubator medium and uh, it'll pop right back out within a day or two. And I can even give it a slight miss with warm water if I don't see it plumping up a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. So not a bad way to end the day, right? As a snake breeder, this is the type of stuff. These are off. These are what I call reptilian gold right here. You work all year for it and you finally get to harvest it. So it's absolutely fantastic. So again, two, four, six good eggs. All right, so this one is a normal ball python, but it's bred to a calico pin yellow belly. So it's a pretty neat combo as far as the male goes. And we can see that we have another one of these slugs. You know, again, you hate to see these, but it's just part of breeding. But the rest of the clutch looks really good. There's two, four, six good eggs. So I'll take that every day. Oh, that's beautiful. And finally, the last clutch of the day. Oh, looks like we have some bad eggs in here, guys. But it looks like there's some good ones too. Don't bite me. Oh, oh yeah, that's not a very good clutch, guys. Look at that. There's two, three good eggs, two, four, five bad eggs. Ah, oh, that ends a good run of hardly any bad eggs. This is the first clutch that we've had that has been kind of really crappy, but that's okay. All in all, the clutches were fantastic today, and I'm gonna load them up and get out of here get them into my incubator at home. And speaking of that, I got a package in the mail today from a friend of mine out in California named Andy. And I remember before I left for Indonesia, he said he was sending it, it was some kind of joke on Noah, but I'll be totally honest, I can't remember what the heck it's all about. So he said, make sure to open it on camera. So I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna have Noah open this package. Again, I literally cannot remember what the heck is in it. So hopefully it'll be something funny. Hey Noah. No, I got a present for you. I literally have no clue what this is. What? What did it say? Oakland Gardens. Open it. I literally have no clue what this is. What is the question? I don't know. Aim it at me. Don't aim it. <laughs> oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 Who thought that was funny? You're cleaning up the whole oh. thing. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? I swear to God, <laughs> did it get all over you, Noah? All no, over him! I'm good. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> oh, I got my, I got Susie, a come here, Susie. <laughs> Susie, come here. Oh, I got him. Susie, no. come here. Oh my gosh. What? Ruined Look, I'm dating. Bleeding. What? Did it you've really been, blow up? You've been glitter bombed. <laughs> Go to this website to see if the sender left you a note. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. Why did you not open it at the shop? I don't know what happened. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Shut up, you're not bleeding. How, did you really bleed from that? Did it explode on you? No, I don't know what happened, but that was super obvious. Like, I've seen those tubes before. What? You, you should have seen that coming. Then why did you open it inside? Because. I was, what if All it right. wasn't? Go on this website, and I want to find out who did this. And I hope they did leave a message, because I'm going to pay you back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean this up. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. okay, maybe I should have had Noah open this up outside, because uh, I thought it was now, a poster. Now my floor is destroyed and, <laughs> and Zeusy too. Let's go find Zeusy. Zeusy, come here, bud. Look at Zeusy's head. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Susie's head's all glittery. What do we do? Clean it up, Noah. It was your gift. Ooh, he's real. Susie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for the gift. 
Well, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening cleaning up glitter off my carpet. That's <laughs> okay with you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning into the vlog today. I really do appreciate your support. I am heading on a quick day and a half trip tomorrow down to North Carolina for some Reptile Prime business. Of course, I'll take you guys along. I'll be at the shop for a few hours in the morning, so you'll see the fam and the animals and all that stuff in the morning. And then we travel all the way to North Carolina and then back the following day really quick trip so we're gonna have some fun we'll see what we can get into do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me be kind to somebody and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow